Welcome back to Section 8 Hobbies. In this installment, Joe's going to come to the rescue with some basic scratch building techniques using styrene and basic geometry and some simple tools. So if you want to learn about some simple scratch building, stick around. Okay, tonight's installment, we're going to do some basic scratch building techniques, uh, some shapes, and uh, make some circles and whatnot, and what tools we're going to use. Here's some of the tools that I use for my scratch building. I uh, use the uh, liquid cement. This is my choice. You use your choice. Super glue. Super glue accelerator. Some uh, steel rods. A good mechanical pencil. A scriber. This is from UUM. UMM. A saw. Uh, you, uh, metal ruler uh, in millimeters and in inches a couple of good sanding sticks a few other sanding sticks if these are uh, I'll explain these in a little bit you got the aluminum in there and they bend sprue cutters pin vise another square and a good exacto knife with sharp blade, a good punch set, circle template, and a little bit of tape. Okay, we're going to start off with some square uh, cuts, make a square box, how to keep everything lined up. I like using a millimeter rod. Most of your model kits are in millimeters. Uh, that's how they measured them out. 35th scale uh, would be for a figure would be uh, 54 millimeters. Anyhow, it's easier to work that way instead of going like one inch and 1644 something like that. It's just so much easier millimeters. Okay, so I'm gonna make something. Start out with 30 mil, uh, 30 millimeters box. So what I do here is on the 30, I make a V right there. I'll come back down to here. 30. There's my V. My two points would be, and that's where I would cut my line, right there. Another way is you get yourself one of these squares. Take your rod to it. And as long as you got your one mark, 30 millimeters, that's all you need. And you need a good straight edge on, the, uh, on your plastic that you're going to cut. Make sure this is butted up against. Touch my mark. Do a couple of score passes. I usually do about two or three. All right. There you go. All right. Again, we're just going to make a box here. So we're going to need a couple of sides. Score that. Lay that back down. I put this on top. And there you go. We're going to call these our two sides. We're going to do one more for the two ends. Yeah.
slide this in half. This is 30. So we're going to cut this down to 15. As you can see, we're, we're going with this. All right. All right. <clears throat> now, a lot of people have the, they make that little bit of mistake when they button these up, their, their uh, pieces here. If you want this to be 50, 30 millimeters in length, well, this piece here has to go on the inside because if you put this on the outside it's going to change it. it this is at uh, one millimeter so if you put it on the outside of this it's going to be 32 millimeters and it's going to be off so you want to put it on the inside run a bit of liquid cement I like to attach it like that. Take my ruler and then push it down. And run a little bit of cement on the outside. Now to make it squared up, push on both ends into the corner and let that set. While that's setting, come over and do the same thing. set now remember it's got to be on the inside grab it run some cement down that got a box okay now we're gonna add the bottom to the box now don't worry about how it looks at this point you're gonna clean this up now there's two ways you can do this you can drop this on score it or with your uh, mechanical pencil cut that out drop it in there in glue or a little bit of pressure let that dry a few minutes.
take your knife and we'll start here It might look a little sloppy, but again, don't sweat it. There's our bottom. Uh, let this dry. The plastic is a little uh, soft right now, uh, but just for time purposes, let's say this is real good and dry. Take your sanding stick. You want to just sand as flat as you can. Don't put pressure because what happens is the these bend. Just let the let the sanding stick run across it. All right, I'm going to make some circles. A lot of guys have uh, uh, some problems with making the circles. Uh, I think they overthink a lot of it. They take compasses and they draw out the circle and they sit there and keep scribing it, scribing it, scribing it forever and ever and ever. And it just doesn't work out uh, all that well for a lot. Simplest way is get yourself the plastic, the size, that you, the thickness that you're going to use. And take your circle template. Mechanical pencil. Uh, for the video purposes, I'm using a black sharpie. But I would use a mechanical pencil as you would during your scratch building. Cut your uh, line as close to the, uh, your line. Break the pieces off. You just break these off. And then you can sit here and just keep nipping all around the circle. All right. Take your uh, good sanding stick and you sand right to your line. Just about finished. Follow the, the sandy stick all around, right to the line. There's my circle. Now you might want to do multiple circles, which you can, or you can sit here and do one at a time. To do multiple, again, your circle template to your circle, cut them out like how I showed. Then a little bit of glue. Wipe it off. I mean, you, you want to use just the smallest amount and do it in the center. Just touch it on there. Stick. Touch it on there. And then just stick. And if you follow, see the pencil line. Again, your sanding stick. This one didn't stick. All right. Follow this all out to achieve that. And all you have to do, your knife, 
because you're not glued all the way around, just to the center. Stick your blade in there. Just pop it apart. And then you'll have your circles. All right, you want to do some smaller uh, circles and holes. Get yourself a punch set. There's your frame, and you got your punches right here. Put your plastic in. Take your punch. And you don't need a lot of pressure, just a nice little tap. And you can sit here and make a, uh, a bunch of these in, in a matter of minutes. And as you can see, there's a whole bunch right there. All the different punches that I used. I've also taken this one right here. And that's done by finding what the diameter you're looking for. And then you put the smaller one in there. All right. I'm going to do this one here. Punch. I'm gonna punch a hole in that. So I'm gonna find the die I want. And we're gonna go with that one for just for now. Alright. Get your exacto. Line it where you need it. in punched and then just save your other little pieces using these simple techniques you'll be able to make masters as I did for some smaller companies like uh, Warner Wings here I made two sets of uh, helicopter conversions using uh, scratch building. And then again, you'll be making stuff like this for yourself. And in the future, in Section 8 here, we will show you how to go about making uh, big conversion pieces like this for yourself using some reference photos and whatnot. So if there's anything you would like to see, please leave a comment below and we'll get back to you. Thanks for watching us here at Section 8. Keep your fingers unstuck.